for any kind of content, uh, finding it is as important as its own quality, right? Many customers were frustrated with PDFs. You do a search on the tech support site and you say, okay, I'm going to download this PDF. And then you search through the PDF. Oh, well, I didn't really find it, so let me do another search. Our intent with Live Library was to address the searchability problem. Search one place in Live Library and all the content is there. We have individual versions of Pi Server posted, so you can look at the version that you actually have. And it's simply a question of selecting it from a drop down. But you might find a result for a version other than the one that you have. At the top of the page, there's a, a, a version picker, so you can pick another version of the same information. You can also go back a little bit and search only that publication, all the versions of that publication. If we have a change that we think is is, you know, important to get out, we can just post it to the website. Changes as they come in from customers and, and from tech support. Whenever we, we need to do it. There's embedded videos. The problem with the, uh, the, the YouTube videos in the past is that we had many, many do dozens of videos and it's very hard for a customer to determine, well, which one do I actually want? But we wanted to be able to put the video in Live Library so that you don't have to leave the site to actually go watch the video. Putting them in, in situ, I think, makes it much more helpful to the customer. There's um, now a little widget on each page and there you can just let us know, hey, we want to know, are these topics good? Are they bad? Were they helpful? What could we do better? Being able to act on customer feedback. We get a lot more feedback now that we have an easier way to provide it. We have an OSI soft glossary. Terms of art basically for our products or the different types of industries. And then there's terms in there like can link you to another term. So you don't have to go looking for it. We get a lot of feedback from users saying how useful the glossary topics are. That was actually kind of surprising. And there's also one that's a share link. You'll pop up an email with a short version of the link to that page. Anyone could access Live Library. Anyone can go look at it. In between the moment when you have a problem and you're trying to investigate how to resolve that problem, there's nothing more annoying than, than having to sign on. Better to make this information available to everybody so that they wouldn't have to go through a big pain in the neck to, to sign on and get it. If they can't find it, it might as well not be there, right? We hope it helps customers find what they want. We'd like to be able to tailor the site more to the preferences of the people using it. And I think as we collect more data about how the site's being used, we'll be better able to do that. Because everyone's need is different depending on where they are, right? And so we want to be able to provide that for them.